Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to continue talking about the Ceph cluster and setting up more metrics and in this case we are talking about alarms. We are talking about the alarm manager which is a plugin to the Prometheus system. So let's jump over to my screen here. Uh, so first off, we can look at my Ceph cluster, which has a little bit of a load to it. It has little throughput and it works at the moment a little bit. And we also have some recovery throughput because I changed my cluster up a bit. So it's actually know that most of my data will be in the file system. So I said 99% of all the data will be in the file system and it said, okay, I have uh, distributed your load to totally wrong here. I need to move things around a bit. So you see here my cluster is fully healthy, but I have some misplaced things. Not Nothing degraded, but something misplaced. And if we look at the host configuration here, we see that we have four hosts, we have a lot of uh, data traffic and so on. But we also see that we have a one down here, a red one on monitoring. And this is an active alert telling me that I have a bunch of these pages that are unclean. So page groups that are uncleaned. And page groups are pretty much when you are saving things, it's a key value store. You say, I want to save this key with this value not much to it. The problem is if you had a monitor that should keep track of, let's say, a billion objects, it would take a long time to find it. So for ease of use, they hash the keys and for the ease of use of actually distributing them between different OSDs or hard drives, it gets placed into a placement group. And that placement group has a bit of a hash, so it's easy to find that. And then you just need to find which hard drive has that specific placement group. And then you can use that in order to actually find the value. So I have a bunch of pl placements group now that are unclean. They haven't been checked in a while. So this is a really good alert to tell me, warning, there is a problem. And usually the Ceph cluster gives you warnings and alerts about things that are critical to your system as health status alerts. But with alert manager, you can configure exactly what you want as extra alerts. You can say all the standard health alerts should give a status update, but I also want you to do some Prometheus checks and pick up some extra information in order to show me more alerts when needed. And if we go back to monitor here, we can look into alerts and we see that we have a long list of things here. And this is actually provided by the Ceph team. So there is on their web page uh, or the, the GitHub repository, a file with all these uh, configured or all these defined. So you can just pick that file and use it. I had an older file in our production environment that had other things that it actually checked. So if I put that in here, it would tell me that if I put more than 90% of my Ceph cluster, if I fill it up to more than 90%, I would not have full redundancy, which is a really good alert to know that I can not fill it fully. Um, so I need to buy more hardware. And having alert that tells you that you are very full now, you need to actually update your system in order to have redundancy could be a really good thing if you're running a production environment. So what we can see here is 10% OSDs down, uh, flapping OSDs, health error, war health warning, those are the normal that you see in the GUI, so we, we pick those up. Um, high page count, low monitor quorum, MTU mismatch, network package errors, network package dropped and OSDs down, um, OSD near full, pages inactive, pages unclean, pool filling up, pool full, root volume full, slow OSD operations and storage filling up. So we have a lot of different things that it checks for here and gives you alert. Another thing with alert manager that is really good is that it actually keeps track of these 
and sorts them out so you will not get multiple alerts for one thing. It will actually gather the information through Prometheus and just give you one alert for each of the things that you need to keep track on and take action on. So it will gather it, see all the alerts that actually comes in and just report one of them. And then it will check every 10 seconds and then in an hour it will alert you again. So let's look into this configuration. Uh, with these different plugins that you have, they are pretty much the same in the installation phase. We have gone through in the f uh, earlier video how to install the node exporter and the alert manager. The installation is exactly the same. You download a package, you unpackage it, you put some files or two tools into your USR uh, local bin. So if I look here, the alert manager, the, the AM tool, those are the things that you need to put into your USR local bin, give them the username and group Prometheus, and then you have it on your system, you can create the service for them and start them as usual. So now we are just talking about the configuration of these tools. So if we look here, I have the alert manager uh, YAML and it's pretty short. We can see here that we have a resolve time of five minutes. So if something is resolved, it will take up to five minutes before it's actually checked off. That's because if you have alerts that comes and goes, you don't want to get notified by SMS, for instance, too often. Um, so five minutes is a pretty good way to keep them not coming in that often. And then we have how to group them by alert name. So if you get multiple on one alert name, you will only see one of them. I actually got two alerts of this specific problem that I have now, unclean uh, pages, but it resolved itself pretty easy and just got one of them. But I had two for a little while. Uh, it will wait for 10 seconds for the group and take things in 10 seconds intervals. And it will repeat the alert every hour if it keeps up. And a warning you don't get email notification for. It's more errors and so on. And the receiver is the Ceph dashboard. And here we have the different receivers. So we have Prometheus receivers that we send the different alerts to. So uh, let's check at the Prometheus uh, setup then, uh, because you need to do a little bit in the Prometheus uh, thing as well. First off, we need to add this extra alerting down here. So here we tell them where is the alert manager that you need to talk to in order to pick up the different alerts. And you can have multiple of those as well. But here I only have one configured and I say, okay, here is my alert manager. It will handle the alerts for me. So Prometheus will report it back to the Ceph cluster and the alert manager will just keep track on the alerts. Another thing I need to set, tell it is where is the rules files for Prometheus in this case, I have alert rules files that I put in here, and those are in the alerting directory. So if you look here, I have two directories actually. I have one alerting and one alerting old, and alerting old is the older ones from Octopus that I used earlier. So we will look at the new ones. So this is the uh, Ceph dashboard YAML with all the alerting rules. They are not that easy to read here, so I will switch over to my web browser again and I will open uh, Ceph slash Ceph. So we have the GitHub repository here for Ceph. And then I go down to monitoring, Prometheus, alert, and here you have Ceph defaults alert. So this is the file that is actually the one that I have downloaded. So here you can see that we have groups for cluster and health. And here you see the health error and how it should handle that and the health warning and how it should handle that. And these are the ones that is in the normal uh, cluster health uh, already. So this is something that you will get from your cluster, even if you're not running the alert manager. Then we go on here and say, okay, monitors alert if monitor quorum count is low 
And the expression is pretty simple. Check if the Ceph monitor quorum status is uh, less than three and then you should alert. So you should have least a quorum status with more than three monitors in order to have a good count and a good quorum. So if you have four, that's okay. If you have two, you will get an alert. And then we have 10% OSDs down. So it will count the number of them up and then it will count the, let's see here, the number of them up uh, that it's not zero. So this is how many of them that is actually down. And then it will count how many of them are up. It will take that and that di um, divide and uh, times it well with 100 and then check that it's over 10%. Um, so that's how it will check that you have uh, less than 10% down. So there is a lot of these different um, warnings here. I'm not gonna go into the more intricate ones because that could be hard to explain. And I'm not sure that I actually explained the other ones well, well either. But now you know how to configure, install this alert manager and set it up in your cluster in order to get good alerts when something actionable is actually happening that you need to do something uh, with. And there is a lot of these different configuration files and you can find more or create your own alerts. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I hope that you found it interesting. I hope that you learned something today. Have you been using the alert manager by Prometheus for your Ceph cluster? Or do you use alert manager with Prometheus in any other context Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them there as well. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.